Hi there. Today we are making a Cimarron slaw to go with our Southwest themed dinner. For this one, I'm going to use the 12 inch loaf. That fish got nice crust. So, uh, there's this little uh, secondhand bookstore that uh, we like to go to when, when we go up north to Michigan to visit family. And uh, one year, I don't know even how long back ago it was now, but it's been a few years. Um, we were up in there and I picked up this uh, classic Southwest cooking from, uh, who is it from? Uh, it don't matter. Anyhow, I picked this <laughs> picked this up uh, one, one year when we were up there. And tonight I'm making a, uh, a Veracruz style catfish and then uh, some uh, Mexican quinoa. So I was thumbing through um, uh, the recipes in, in that book, trying to find something maybe unique and that would uh, work as a good uh, uh, salad or some, you know, some kind of side for, for tonight's dinner, and came across the uh, Cimarron Slaw. That sounded, uh, sounded pretty good. I've never made it before, so it's going to be a first uh, all the way around. And uh, just thought uh, we'd, uh, we'd all do it here. Um, this morning. That's going to take a couple hours uh, to cool, so I got uh, some ice blocks in the cooler for it. And uh, we'll get started doing this here in just a second. Okay, so I've got, uh, got all my ingredients in a basket my wife made for us. And uh, it is going to use both red and green cabbages. green onions, bell pepper, and a jicama. This one will be new to me. I've never had a jicama before. I am curious about it and uh, I've not ever worked with one before so it's a it's gonna be both a learning curve in how to use it and uh, how it's gonna taste. Also, uh, what I do, um, I've got tons of notebooks now with recipes I've collected. Uh, that way, um, the original in the book does not have to go anywhere with me. So I just recop repurpose them and keep them in notebooks and stuff. So I've got my collection of camp notebooks for, for recipes. Okay. So I am not going to do this in the order it's written down. The uh, order it's written down is green cabbage, red cabbage, jicama, then bell pepper. And just for space, I'm going to go ahead and do the bell pepper first. It is one quarter cup, and so I'll probably use half of it. And I did not bring my knife set down here, so luckily I've got a backup one. Got the, it rained pretty good the last couple days, so things that I was afraid of uh, collecting too much moisture or uh, potentially getting wet, I brought back in the house after setting it all up last weekend. And uh, I think after this slaw, we will be going back to get some more stuff because I did not realize I had forgot some stuff. So, um, I'll spare you guys from watching every bit of this, but we're going to slice the uh, bell pepper pretty thin. Yay. And I've got them in uh, 
you know, fairly thin. It. Lost it. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? One cup jicama. Um, I am gonna peel it. So maybe one third of this guy here. This thing's. This was the smallest one that I found in the store. So uh, I'm gonna probably go with. Maybe that much of it, and uh, we're gonna peel it down. And uh, as much as I don't really like this thing, I'm gonna use my little inexpensive mandolin to slice that up, as well as the cabbage. So. Uh, and I think just to make it a little bit more strip-like, I'm gonna. Bit that that is far more than a quarter cup now. But. I know you can eat them raw, so I'm just curious what they taste like. Didn't know what to expect, but that, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. No way on how to explain it, though. Um, da -da 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 -da. quarter cup green onions with tops. I think I need green onions for something else, so my last guess at a quarter cup was really bad. I'll go with three of them. And make them really thin too. But we're going to cut a couple of these off and discard them. Do them up really fine too. It's a beautiful day though. Currently 60 something. There we go. Okay, I did mention, forget to mention earlier, um, need some cilantro too, half cup. So I don't know if. Did not say about stems or not, so I'm going to slice that part really fine. This ought to give it a nice little citrusy southwest taste. I love the smell of cilantro. Actually, I just love cilantro. It's good stuff. Did not guess that good either. <laughs> we got a big bunch of it. 
and uh, well, I don't think you can over cilantro something I don't suppose. I think all my, uh, my improportional guesses are going to balance themselves out. All that is left now is cabbage. Bring this little dude back out. Man, but a little red cabbage, he's a tiny little fella. There's no guessing on this one. He's going to get all of that done. Okay, so I've got, got my slaw pretty mixed up, balanced out, I think. It's going to be a smells good. That cilantro is adding a lot to the smell. But it's a, it's going to be a, a really pretty slaw, I do believe. So, now we'll make our dressing for it. Da, 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 da. Lime juice, sour cream. Lime juice and sour cream. Salt and black pepper. Oil. That's it. Uh, let's see. Bear with me. I'm gonna take you with me. I think. I did want to show you, and I have no idea if they're picking it up. We'll just aim it over here. Yeah, you should be seeing it. Wanted to show you this as my new addition. It's an old. <laughs> old GI uh, uh, wooden footlocker, but it is now my new pantry. Uh, I am disorganized in here at the moment because I put stuff up for the winter. And and to keep critters out, um, got a strap that'll wrap around it at night, strap it up real good. of just about everything because I've got I know more ingredients than I need and that well that finishes off my oil I made that easy Lime juice? Oh, that's a lot. And not 
quite an eighth, but a little extra just to be safe. Tablespoon of sugar. I'm going to leave that one as it is. Because I am now on sugar restriction one tablespoon of sugar will be just fine three quarters a teaspoon of salt Teaspoon of black pepper, quarter and a half of that. Okay. And where'd you go? Sour cream, one half cup sour cream. Eight ounces. Eight ounces missing some, so we're going to use all of the sour cream. Oh man. I did not bring utensils down here yet. Add that to the list of things to bring down. all that we're going to get out of that. Please tell me I at least have a whisk down here. No, I do not. Oh, but I do have a spoon. Okay. That, I'm first day set up stuff. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. And we'll... Save a little bit so we can mix it back up again. Make a mess because that's what you do with slaw. Pour some more on there. up one more time. And we're going to let this absorb it. its own flavors, chill in the cooler till this evening. And we'll be back uh, at dinner time. Yeah. Alright, so let's see how we did with the slaw. Oh, he's a pretty looking little fella. 
And let's get some plates here. Gonna make a leftover. It's pretty though. <laughs> you want to see how it looks? I think it looks pretty good. What do you think? Alright, so let's see how we did with it. I'm going to just take a couple little tastes. Oh. Oh, yeah. This is gonna be a new favorite. That is really, really good. I'm, uh, the uh, cilantro stands out. And I get the crunch from just about everything. A little bit of pepper from the uh, when we made the dressing part of it. And then after that, nothing, nothing else stands out. But it all blends together, if any of that makes sense. So, uh, yeah, this is really good. This is going to be a new favorite. I'm going to try to work this into a couple more meals, I'm sure. And, uh, well, that's really it. And, uh, I guess we'll see you next time. Thank you.